Okay. Wait for it to pop up. And we're here. Uh, let's see, you know, now I got to figure out how to get the comments. There we go. Oh, Dawn's on. Hi, Dawn. Um, I think I got everything. I am ready to go. It's Christmas card night. Got my little Christmas cap on. And it won't take very long tonight. It's a cute, super cute card. Quite easy. Uh, I think I got all the stuff I need over here. We'll see. And uh, Christy's on. Hi, Christy. So I'm going to tell you guys again, reminder about the sign up join special, um, 65 roughly dollars, $425 worth of stuff, or for the regular $99 cost that it is, you can get about $168 worth of stuff. And I just keep spewing that out there to you. Just I want you to save money if you buy any amount of Stampin' Up! supplies. You really should be signing up. If you don't plan to carry on and order or do anything, that's fine. But you really should do the join. It's not, you know, it is what you want to make it. So don't be afraid when you get to the part where it wants your social security number and your um, stuff like that. It's just setting you up in case you decide you want to join as a, like a discount hobby demo or something. Um, it, you never even have to log in. You'll, your kit will just come in the mail. You never even have to log in. You don't have to do another thing if you don't want to. But then if you want to log in, then you'll have to set up your credit card for payment and things like that. But I'm here, I can help you with that if you decide that you want to do it. But like I said, if you just want to get some supplies, fill up on all your paper, that kind of thing, it, you can't beat the deal. Um, oh, mom must be on, Kathy's on, Patty's on. Yay, guys are all popping in here. I didn't see Debbie Green because I was looking at my camera, so maybe she's on, maybe not. Um, so I spewed that out, got that. You guys, I, I know I seem like I'm push, 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 eager beaver, build my team, but honestly, I don't care if I build my team or not, if you want to help me build my team, that's great. Um, I just want everybody to save money. Um, and with that, I'm going to get started. Tonight's Christmas card is a cute card using the trucking along bundle and this paper. Um, this paper is right at the very beginning of the catalog. And you in the mini catalog and you could miss it if you're not looking for it um they don't even really it's on the right hand side it's like almost like the first page in page three or five or something um this three dollars from this purchase goes to toys for tots this year um they used to have a stamp set for ronald mcdonald house i think this kind of has taken over for that and just let me show you the fun designs on it so I could show you down, but get to see my smiling face for a second. So we got some, these bears will cut out with the bear punch that we have. Let's see, we got some trees. There's this one. I'm using this one on paper pumpkin. Yes, I got paper pumpkin done today, you guys. Cranked out those four cards today. So excited. Now I got to get the videos done, so stay tuned for those. Oh, wait a second. I messed up there. This is a different paper with that green on the back. I forgot I pulled that out of there. I didn't use it, but I pulled it out of there. So you were getting that. Then you get this one with the pine cone. And that's the other one I pulled out of there. And then on the back of that is blue dots. 
We get another one with the bear and a little baby cub. And that on the back has this stripey, real cool stripe. And then we got this one, that's the one that I'm using. And on the back of that are some snowflakes, which I'll show you. This is snowflakes. And then there's this tree paper. And on the back of the trees is another stripe with um, old olive, probably pretty peacock and either, let's see, uh, garden green and old olive. Yeah, so they're real pretty colors in there. And like I said, you can use the bear punch to get the bears out. And it's an awesome pack of paper because they um, do make a donation to Toys for Tots for that. Um, let's see, I'm standing on my mat, my squishy mat, so I'm a little bit higher than normal, but you guys see my hat, so. It doesn't jingle or anything tonight, but let me turn my camera down. Oh, I missed it all. You're talking to mom. Yes, her hand is healing. I'm glad Christy went with her to the doctor and she's in a splint. Hopefully she's following the rules. You know, I gotta get back up, up there and keep a watchful eye on her, I think. Make sure she's doing what she should be doing. Okay, so now I gotta spotlight that, move my computer out of the way, mess up my stuff over here. All right, so, oh, I forgot to change the, um, the lighting so that I could get a little bit brighter, um, truer colors. Oh, Reed's on. Hi, Reedy. Um, so here's the card that we're gonna make. I used that tree paper and the trucking along bundle. And like I said, it's a quick card. It's a limited supply card and you know, very easy to mass produce should you like it and want to do something like that for some Christmas cards. I'm just using white. So I have basic white at four and a quarter by 11. Score it at five and a half or fold it in half. So I cut this seed, there's the snowflakes on the back. I cut this down um, on the eighth. So we're just gonna glue that to the front. And because I put the tree in the back of the truck, I wanted a tree design in the background. And I thought that this one worked out really well for um, subtle yet, nice because there was enough variety in there. Hopefully, so I got that basic layer down on there. Then this layer, I went two and five eighths inch wide. Um, I had a little bit wider and then I wanted to cut it down a little bit so that the truck, um, the truck was, had a little bit less from side to side on it. So it's two and five eighths by, I believe it was four inches. Then I took my scissors and I just dragged it along. So if you just have a flat edge, a ruler, whatever you can do, just gonna drag that along just to rough that up to give it a little bit of dimension. You don't have to do this step. I just, like I said, thought it gave it a little bit more dimension. I saw a card on Pinterest using the truck stacked up like this. And she had a couple layers like of white under hers, but I think hers might've been one of the European size cards. And so it might've been a little bigger and um, fit a couple more um, layers of white she had 
couple like out this way with another layer and I didn't want to cover up too much of the paper so I cut this piece down as much as I could for the trucks. Then we're going to get just some scrap basic white and we're going to stamp our trucks our truck here's the trucking along stamp set and when I said I was going to use the bundle it's because I'm using the truck punch as well. And so I'm going to use the outline image of the truck. Now I'm going to stamp three trucks. Oh, crash and burn, baby. I hit stop. Trying to find the right size block. And then I'm going to use the Memento Black. And I'm just going to, let's see. When we punch the truck, we get extra pieces. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to stamp my trucks a little bit lower. And then I'm going to cut them apart. So I need three trucks. I did not bring my cleaner, hang on. If you guys could see the mess I got going over there today from the I was trying to also film a kind of finally Friday idea. Um, so I've got my film equipment set up over by the window. And then I had to kind of work around, like put my arms around it like this, like around the, well, you can't really see, but the poles like right here. So I, I'm around it, like I'm hugging this pole thing. And then I decided to do the paper pumpkin card. So I slid all that stuff off to the side. Now I'm grabbing the solid. I'm not, I just grabbed the same one again. Um, moved all that stuff aside to do the paper pumpkin cards. And you know, when you've got pieces and parts left over, you just leave them sit there because you're gonna try and use them on the next card and whatnot. And yeah, I just got all kinds of stuff going on and it's quite the mess. So I've got crumb cake. Yes, that looks green, but it's not, it's crumb cake. That's why it says crumb cake on it because it has faded out. So we've got the solid stamp image and I'm going to line it up over the truck. Best that I can. And I knew that was going to happen because I don't have a foamy thing on. You see, I filled in my window. So let's flip it over. And I'll see if I can grab a, I have a foamy thing sitting here. Let's get our truck on again. And I think I told you guys before that somebody had mentioned that this stamp didn't have a real deep um, groove at the window. So it was times like that when I don't have the foamy thing and I press too hard. And then you get the window fills in. I mean, you could go and try and wipe it off, but we'll see if this one works any better because it shouldn't have to push down as hard. A little better. I didn't get all my truck. I didn't stamp as hard. I didn't want to get all my truck. Let's see if that worked. No, my, my pad was all. That's good. We're going to keep going. 
Now we've got, I'm gonna wipe it. And I've got Balmy Blue for one truck. To put that there and not press too hard because I do have ink in the window, I can see it. Hi, Megan. Megan's on. Megan comes, we go to Girls Weekend. She um, comes to Girls Weekend with us, or we go with her, I guess. I do anyway, because I joined the group after it already started. So we're gonna put the truck on now in Pretty Peacock. Here. And I need a new pretty peacock pad. Can you guys see the? I get that just right. Can you see the weird, see those weird bumps on it? It's getting kind of like hard, doesn't want to accept the ink or give up the ink. So I got one of those on my list my next order all right now i'm going to take the wheels the tires tires the patty tires from the set and i'm going to use the black again and we're just going to stamp wheels, uh, tires on the inside of the rim. I should remember that, Mike, was, with this difference obviously in wheels and tires. And we're just gonna make the Tires black, leave them looking like white walls, maybe. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have three trucks ready. Told you guys this card was going to be fast, easy to mass produce if you so choose. And cute to boot. So now let me get my trimmer and I'm just going to cut these off. So that I don't get so much waste and so many uh, pieces of paper flying at me when I am just creating like at home for me for nothing. I don't mind shooting pieces all over, but show you guys kind of ways that you can prevent things like that. So I cut that down and now you see, I'm just gonna get that one little piece of white. And you guys, you know what? I hopped back over here to Facebook, right? To do these lives. And I don't know what I was doing um, yesterday, day before, anyway. I somehow went in, you guys know if you go up by your name and you click, there's, I think it's under settings. There's a whole bunch of things you can see. Well, there's a um, security and notifications or something. I, I would have to look at it. But anyway, I wound up in there and this platform has flagged like eight videos again. It didn't lock me out or anything this time, but it just said that I had like eight videos that did not meet that met copyright infringements and such. And they didn't have any music. It was me talking, doing these. I and you know, after I started, 
it took me a little bit to realize that if I had music playing in the background, even faint, they must have some supersonic bot that goes through and listens to every single thing that you say, because um, I could hear nothing. But I know when I first started, I would have music faintly playing in the background just for me to help me feel less, um, more at ease, I guess I could say. And the only thing I could think of now is that it hears Mike's TV sometimes if I got it on, the door open back there. That's all I can think. And it must be picking up whatever like show he's watching. I don't, I, 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 for the life of me, I have no idea what it was. So I had to go in and see if I could try and figure out what, um, what to do to get them to put the videos back out there. So it was just weird. So I'm going to wrap the card now, this white piece with the silver, and it looks like it's two-sided. So this side has silver on both sides with some white in the middle, and this is just all silver. And it also has a pack uh, of gold, and it's called silver and gold or gold and silver one-eighth inch combo ribbon pack kind of thing. Um, it's on the online exclusive, so you might not have ever seen it, but if you need silver uh, ribbon, this kind of stuff for cards or projects, especially with the holidays coming up, it's there under the online exclusives. And I'm going to try and tie this bow so that all of just the silver side shows, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to maneuver that. There's hoping. I wanted my bow to lay, lay sort of flat as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me cut it. I'm going to leave it right there for now. And then I'm going to lay my trucks on. Oh, I forgot to do the tree. The tree for the truck. Better go and do that. So I'm going to put this right about there. Move it down a little bit. But first, let's go make the and I've showed you guys before, if I need to move my ribbon, I bend the paper and then I can move it like wherever I want. You can move it this way. And it doesn't um, make an indent mark on the paper. So I guess I'm going to put these on first. I'm going to put the these couple trucks on first. Get them positioned so then I can put the make sure the ribbon's in the right spot before I put the. So I'm just going to put them down toward the bottom. Leave a little bit of space. I'm going to put the balmy blue guy up at the top. Pull him down just a little smidge. Well, he might be a little bit too far. Okay, and then now I'm going to take my part of my scrap, and then there's two steps for the tree, like a Christmas tree. We've got uh, buckets of flowers, presents, a palm tree with a surfboard. Oh, and we got the side rail for the truck too. I used that before. That's really cute. Um, but I'm going to use the Christmas tree. Got two pieces for it. I'm starting to get a waft of something downstairs here. Like Mike is down here, but it smells like he's cooking squash. And I have a squash upstairs that needs cooking, but I don't know if he's actually cooking it or not. And I don't want to holler at him, so I'll have to go up and look. I holler, then I'll be hollering it. Maybe if he comes out, I'll uh, ask him. So, just gonna 
stamp the outline of the Christmas tree. And then we'll pick up the solid image and layer that in there. And then, yes, I have to fussy cut it out, but that's okay. Let me take a hot second. Cut it kind of close in there. And if you look close at what I'm doing, I didn't line it up all that great. So we're just going to kind of cut some of that off where I didn't line it up right. So I can do that with my scissors. Chop it right off. All right. Cut that piece off so it's out of my way. And then I'm gonna leave a little tiny bit of white on the bottom so I can glue it onto my truck. Well, no, I'm not because I got white on the truck. I'll try and glue it onto. I forgot that's what I did. Took it and I just put a little tad bit of Yeah, a tad, sure, Joe. Put a tad bit of glue along that row there, the bottom. And then I just tried to like stick them in the truck. Like that. Then we'll put a couple of dimensionals on him. We will overlap the dimensional from the tree to the truck so that we know it's not going anywhere. And then put it up a little bit higher to the truck up there because we're gonna come through with our sentiment. you a festive Christmas and this is in the set the trucking along set and then I use the balmy blue for that okay And then I'm going to trim it down. I'm going to go like three quarters of an inch. And then I just take my scissors and cut at an angle. And I gotta bend that and pull that knot over just a little bit to try and get this on there. Put a couple dimensionals at the ends, just in case it overlaps something, I want it to be able to stick down good. that under my ribbon a little bit. Pull my ribbon out of the way. There we go. 
Oh, it's crooked though. Pop it off. Move it up. Can I do that? Is it working? Probably not going to move the ribbon now because the dimensional is stuck on it. So it is stuck there now, but that's that's okay. That's how I wanted it. Want the ribbon going up and down there. We probably could trim those ends just a smidge at an angle. That one's already like that. And then I glued it flat to the front. And kind of not gonna have the same amount of space top and bottom and the sides, but the top and the bottom should space right and each side should kind of have the same. Oh geez, I need that. Should have the same amount of space. If that makes sense. Don't have equal on all four sides, I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right. And then we could go inside. I don't have this set does not, it's kind of you know generic. It does not have a um well, I shouldn't say generic because it does say Christmas there, but um there's not it's not like a full Christmas set. So for the inside, there's not like another Merry Christmas or anything like that. So I will have to reach over to one of my other sets and find a holiday saying to stick on the inside. But with the white base, we don't need any more papers for the inside or anything. And there is our card for this month's Christmas. Christmas idea. Let's see what I got to do over here. Let's go back and remove. So we should be back. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I'll be back on, well, today's Wednesday, so we got a two for tonight. We got our Wednesday night live and our Christmas live on the same day. So look for me on Friday to give you a little tip. Um, and I'm going to make a whole card with it. I'm going to give you a tip and then I'm going to finish the card. So look for me on Friday afternoon, maybe. You can always catch the replay. And then next Wednesday, I'll be back. Until then, uh, let's see. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.